you know his name and how he likes his martini. But in a COVID-19 plot twist, this fictional super spy is being given a mission in the real world. Save cinema. There's no red carpet at the 11 a.m. parent and baby showing in London's East End, but by British standards, the excitement level is high. I'm a big James Bond fan, so this is an opportunity to come out as a mum as well with a baby, which is very difficult. You know, it feels like a whole cycle of films has disappeared. And so, yeah, we're, we're sort of ready to get out there. Do you feel that that's where you're up to? Are you ready to come back to the cinema? I mean, to be honest, I'm ready to do anything that will get me out of the house, so yes, definitely. Staff at the Genesis Cinema have worked hard to keep the business alive during Covid, but there's still a lot riding on Bond. You, are you wall-to-wall -wall Bond? Yeah, absolutely. We've got, like I said, five screens. We are showing it about three times a day across every single screen for uh, at least seven days. What do you hope that this will, this will be the start of? Once people can feel the cinema experience again, I'm confident they're going to want to keep on coming back. For superfans, cinemas across the UK opened at midnight. Abdullah Mohammed travelled from the Midlands to London for a screening because, he says, that's where Bond is from. Once the credits roll and the rock credits say James Bond will return, that's when fans are waiting for the next one. That's when we want to see the next one. So it's been six years and it's finally here and the excitement is really kicking in now. James? Fate draws us back together. James Bond is already shifting tickets. View Cinema says more than 200,000 have been sold in 24 hours. The last Bond film took four weeks to do the same. We have 18 months of movies while we were closed that were shifted into the future. So we're in this scenario right now where the next 12 to 18 months, we're going to have probably close to three years of movies. We've been expecting Mr Bond for two years. But like all good on-screen heroes, it seems he's arrived just in time to save the day. Toby Sadler, 5 News.